Okay, so, so far on my channel, I have been making my art videos and stuff like that. A few of my singing videos, but I haven't actually done a whole lot of mom vlogs, which is one of the things I wanted to start doing. So today we are going to do one very unscripted, whatever you want to call it, because it's Sunday and I need to address something horrible. Mom guilt. And last night I finally had the revelation as to why I always have mom guilt. Aside from postpartum depression, which I'm still battling, my middle sister and older sister are way older than me. My oldest is 16 years older than me, and then my middle sister is nine and a half years older than me. And when I was little, I went to their houses quite often. And my middle sister was married way too young. And I remember going to her house and there were, now this is nothing against having taste, personal interest, whatever. You want black lights all over your house. I don't really care. But I distinctly remember being scared to move in the house because it was so filthy and dirty and stuff was cluttered everywhere. And my other sister's house, yeah, there was clutter, but it was a clean house, a place I felt safe in. And having those two different views, I think make me feel horrible if when I do get a break if I'm not cleaning if I'm doing something for myself I feel horribly horribly guilty like the drawing videos that I make on this channel most of them take 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that and then I spend like maybe five minutes to ten minutes editing it because I don't like my editing program so I don't do a whole lot but um the whole time I'm doing that I feel like, oh, I should be putting dishes in the dishwasher, I should be going and uh, cleaning up my bedroom, I should be putting another load of laundry in the washer for my husband and the girls or whatever. And if I don't do any of that, the guilt just rises and rises and like there are times I feel horrible for taking a shower because the girls are in their bed. Our bedtime routine is, since both my girls like music and are going through a phase of being very scared of the dark, they watch Baby Bum on their little TV. I have it fixed to where blue light is not an issue on their TV. I like it because I can time how long it takes for them to fall asleep. But they'll be in there watching Baby Bum. My youngest is kind of fighting sleep, but at the most, she'll go to sleep in 45 minutes if Baby Bum is on. My oldest, 15 minutes. So I go in there, check on them, after I take my shower, and I just feel horribly, horribly guilty that I wasn't with them for that entire time they were awake. But I was taking time for myself, getting clean, taking care of my hair, you know, washing it, because... But... Like, right now, the girls... Like I said, it's Sunday. My oldest doesn't take naps anymore. She just stopped doing it. If she did, she would be a cranky little brat for the rest of the day and wouldn't go to sleep until like midnight. And now my youngest, who's not even two, is also fighting naps. So for right now, they are both in their room because my husband's like, it's Sunday. You need to have a break of some sort. So I went ahead, put them in their room. Sophie, the youngest, is in her crib. And I turned on Wiggles, which is one of their favorite shows. And my oldest is in bed. For some reason, she really likes having um, kids YouTube over Netflix in her room lately. I don't understand it. She's been watching some series where little kids make it. And I feel horribly guilty that I'm going to give them one hour like that. I've already took them to the park. They've already had a good lunch. You know, they're dressed, hair brushed, faces washed, teeth brushed, all that. They are not neglected in any way, but by allowing them to have one hour of TV unsupervised in their room and Lizzie on YouTube for one hour in their room, I feel horrible. 
like I would love to be doing some artwork or like I won't be editing this video and uploading it right after because I'm I feel like I need to go do something and I know there's laundry I need to switch and I know for tonight's dinner I need to go and put dishes in the dishwasher so they're done in time for dinner but I would love to do my yoga trapeze because my back's hurting but I feel like I can't do that or you know just put my new laundry away because we were you know it's one of those things you got to have a new sports bra every once in a while especially if you're a mom because that's like basically the one thing that you constantly have sports bra sweatpants or jeans or whatever but honestly mom guilt is something that is constant and I really don't understand if it's because I just don't want to be like my middle sister or if it's because I hear a voice in my head telling me no that's not right I, I honestly don't know what it is my girls are happy they are healthy they are loved they have a huge playroom downstairs that they get to spend time in and yet I still have mom guilt every single day all day and I don't know how to fight it so I will admit the other day when my sister had my girls, my oldest sister gets them once a week. My oldest does pre-K in the morning and then I take my youngest and they both play until four. I decided out of the blue, yes I was supposed to do something for me, I went ahead and cleaned up their entire playroom, got rid of a bunch of broken toys and trash and stuff and they've had snacks down there so there was food crumbs everywhere, I vacuumed. That did actually make me feel better because it did take away one of the stresses I've been having. Because in the playroom in one corner is my computer desk. Right now I'm on my laptop in my room. But downstairs, my computer desk is in one corner because that's the only other spot for internet for me. And I'll sit at my desk drawing or something and I'll feel horrible because Sophie finds a crayon that I didn't know was on the floor because I couldn't get the playroom cleaned with them down there because every time I clean, they pull stuff out. But cleaning the playroom Friday really did help me, but I never got my break because I spent nearly the entire time they were gone on the playroom. I just don't understand how to get past the mom guilt and how to make me understand it's okay for things to not be done. It's okay for other people to lend a hand every once in a while when they can. It's okay for the girls to have some alone time. It's healthy for them even. I understand that completely, that they need to learn how to communicate and work together and play together. And I mean, they share bedrooms, so I mean, they're in there learning to get along, which is a good thing. But I just don't understand mom guilt and how it works and why we feel this way and how to help it. So if you have any experiences with mom guilt and things that have helped you with it, please put it in the comments so I can read it and maybe try it for myself and see if it works. But right now I am going to end this video because I've just been ranting and I am going to at least go do a couple of things and maybe make me some of my tea because that normally does help. And in about 30 minutes, the girls are going to be coming out of their room and I'm going to take them outside in the backyard where they will have a swing set and a bunch of toys and a new power wheel to play with. So, I mean, mom guild is there. It's a thing and I do not know how to handle it. And yeah, that's basically it.